A refractometer is used to determine the refractive index, or RI, of a gemstone. This is the measurement of how light bends as it passes from one medium to another through a gemstone. Here is how to use a refractometer. You'll need a gemstone, polishing cloth, paper, and refractometer liquid. Clean your gemstone using the polishing cloth, then clean the table of the gemstone with paper. Open the cover and add a tiny drop of refractometer liquid, about the size of a pinhead, on the stage area behind the hemicylinder. Make sure to close the jar tightly after use. Place your gemstone table side down on the stage and slide it through the liquid and onto the middle of the hemicylinder. Warning, do not use tweezers to place the gemstone onto the stage as it could scratch the surface. Close the lid and look through the viewing lens. You may have to move your head up and down or side to side until the reading comes into alignment. Once aligned, you'll see your gemstone's refractive index as a shadow coming through the top of the scale. Look at the number on the scale at the shade cutoff where the shadow ends. This is the refractive index of your stone and should be recorded to the thousandth place. Now that you know your RI, it's time to see if your gemstone is doubly refractive and displays birefringence. Turn the polarizing lens on top of the viewing lens back and forth to see if there's any motion in the shade cutoff line. If the line remains motionless, your stone is singly refractive. To confirm, you can rotate the stone and check again. If there is motion in the shade cutoff line, your stone is doubly refractive. Subtract the lowest reading from the highest reading. This number is the birefringence of your stone. Knowing the refractive index and birefringence of your stone is a key piece of information towards identifying your gem.